Hi everyone, what I'm going to talk about today is dog earring once again. Somebody asked me a question, um, why do some people actually notch their rubbers? And that is cut a little slot in the ends of the rubber on their squeegees. Well, first of all, what I'm going to do is start off on the squeegees that I use, the uh, wagtails, but you can also do this method on uh, fixed squeegees as well, like this uh, Atore one. You can do this split end dog earring, which uh, I developed some years ago. Uh, it's been taken up by some manufacturers. Uh, you get the plastic ends. Uh, Mormon is the one that's done it. Um, what I did to help detailing, because we've got to detail the, around the edges of a window, because you, you tend to leave a line right around, especially if you're not all that skilled, or if you're using a pole. Okay, it becomes really difficult. So what I did was put these splits in, uh, so it would keep pressure on the very tip of the rubber, as you can see there. Right, so it wouldn't actually bend round when you came to do modern style windows like these over here. You see with the neoprene uh, edges like this, and you'd get. Um, Without any dog earring, what, what happens tends to happen as the squeegee will ride over this rubber here, the seals on the window. You see, because uh, on a standard squeegee, this is an under one, um, you can see you could cut it closer to the edges, but this is um, Unger has actually um, dog eared this look. That's how they come, these particular ones, the S plus. Right. But it still suffers from the problem of the tips being too soft. You can see how that can bend around. So what naturally occurs all the time, you come to do a window, it'll just slide straight over the rubber seals of the window and leave a line all the way down. Whereas with this method, You can see that the metal is actually very close to the tip. So most of the time, I'm not saying saying this is foolproof, you have to get used to it. The actual pressure on the rubber tip will keep it, the actual uh, keep the squeegee rubber from sliding over this neoprene seal here. Okay, so your um, detailing is much reduced. Okay, let's see if we can actually show that. There we go. It's very hard to tell what's happening. But that's leaving it near perfect. Whereas you get the uh, Unger one. All right. You'll come along. No matter how much you try, you can see it's left a line there. Sometimes you can get it, but most of the time you won't. And there's a line of soap just there. You find you have to point into the glass like that a lot more. Okay, so another tip which we can do to alleviate this, if you're not into dog ear with the splits in the uh, squeegee, what we can do is just cut a little bit of a, a notch in here, about three mils or so, okay? A little square notch in the rubber. Maybe it's best with a blade, uh, you know, scalpel or something, but just, if you cut out a little notch like this on both ends, what you'll find is that, just like that, them off. Now that's done. Where are we? There. You see? You probably do it better than that, take your time with this. About 3mm and 3mm. You can see how much closer 
to the metal that blade is now. And what tends to happen, as I'll show you, I'll just move this camera. Alright, let me just soak this piece of glass up a minute. Alright. Yep. Is that notch now? Where are we? There. We'll stay on the glass and will not ride over the edge of this neoprene rubber on the glass. And the rest of the rubber will act as a stop against the actual window frame. So that's something else you could try. It does improve things. If you're not into dogging in with the splits and all that, it's quite an easy thing to actually do to improve your detailing, etc. So that's all that is. Just a little bit of a, a notch in each end. Plus, if you wanted to do it, even if you into the uh, dog you in with the splits. You could, you could do this to make your rubbers last a bit longer. When the tips wear out, just cut a little notch on each end and you've got a fresh bit again. So anyway, that's something else you could try and see if you can improve your dog ear in techniques uh, and mini cleaning techniques. It takes a while to get used to it, but it, it tends to work until you come perhaps to the old uh, frames, wooden frames, whereas of course that stop will stop against the wooden frame, then you'll leave the amount you've cut down the side of the frame, unfortunately. But for 90% of the time, modern frames have got uh, rubber seals anyway. So this will work most of the time if you just want to try it. Okay, so there you go. There's a notch in the dog, Amy. Job done.